Good afternoon. Hi, I'm Colonel Stuart Helgeson, the president of Valley Forge Military Academy and College, and I'd like to welcome you to the 2021 Military Tattoo. I'd like to say that our cadets here at Valley Forge have been in person all year going to class and working through the military model and working on their craft as a team, and they're so excited to put together a performance for the audience today. Before we get started, I wanted to give a little uh, history of the military tattoo. Military historians will tell you that it all began with a simple army routine that originated in the 17th century. On the war-torn continent of Europe, British troops engaged in the Kingdom of Holland were billeted in private homes in towns and villages. Local taverns and inns soon became the unofficial social centers for the soldiers. Military authorities faced with a problem of calling back stragglers at night to their assigned quarters. The solution was to send a drummer through the city streets. The loud beat of his drum was the nightly signal for the innkeepers to stop the sale of beverages and to send the soldiers back to their assigned quarters. The Dutch idiom, do dem tap toe, was eventually absorbed into the official documents of the English army and is generally now accepted as the origins of the word tattoo. With the passage of time, what had once been necessary, nightly procedure performed by a single drummer in each of the Dutch villages hosting British soldiers, has evolved into a series of complex annual military spectacles performed by mass regimental bands around the world. We are honored to present the 2021 Valley Forge Military Academy and College Regimental Band and all our guests as we welcome you all to the Valley Forge Tattoo. Permission to commence the 2021 VFMAC military tattoo, sir! Start the show! Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, my name is Garrison Sergeant Major Bill Mott and I'm the Garrison Sergeant Major here at Valley Forge Military Academy and College. I'm out here today with a number of our wonderful cadets from the Academy who are on their Life Skills Leadership class and I literally just want to be able to reach out and say thank you uh, to all the people, heroes of the pandemic that have stood the line and got up, gone to work. Uh, drove the truck, delivered the goods, and looked after us while we're all in lockdown. So thank you to all those heroes. God bless you. Uh, and from all the lads, um, God bless you and take care. Thank you.
Military Academy coach, Mr. Struhe, sir. Carry on. Thank you, sir. Don't give up the fight. Don't give up the fight. Don't give up the fight. 
nos conocimos en el 79 y nos casamos en el 83. Ella estaba en la escuela y ella se quedó mirando a ese muchacho que pasó por ahí. Se quedó mirando, mirando. Y hasta lejos, hasta que se perdiera, siguió mirando. Y después al otro día, ella preguntó. Y no, no conocí. Cuando llegué aquí a los Estados Unidos, eh, mi mamá fue que nos trajo. Yo estaba bien joven, pero en el barrio no era fácil. Yo pasé muchas cosas, pero me hice amigo de ellos y me, después me cuidaban. Decían, no, no vayan aquí en el papito porque es bien chévere con nosotros. Porque nosotros lo que le damos es amor, cariño, lo tenemos bien, todo el mundo nos quiere. Hello, I am Chief Warrant Officer 4 Luis Santiago, Commander of the 78th Army Band, U.S. Army Reserve. Our country and the whole world have been facing one of the toughest challenges in our lifetime, probably in history. As citizen soldiers, we serve our communities through our civilian careers and serve our country through our military career. We are teachers, law enforcement agents, students. We are sons and daughters, brothers and sisters, fathers and mothers. And when our communities suffer, we suffer with them. As a token of our solidarity with our communities, the 78th Army Band would like to dedicate this performance to all of you, our friends and neighbors. Y para mi gente en Puerto Rico, quienes por los pasados dos años han enfrentado la furia de un huracán, la destrucción de los terremotos y la incertidumbre de la pandemia. Sabemos que estos son momentos difíciles, pero nosotros los boricos somos más fuertes e indestructibles y como en el pasado, Reconstruiremos y nos levantaremos aún más fuertes. We love and best wishes for all. The prayer.
To the nurses at Valley Forge Military Academy and College, I would like to give a big thank you to all your service and all the time you put in helping us cadets at Valley Forge. It comes to uh, being at barracks at six in the morning and giving people meds to at night dealing with kids with allergic reactions. I'd like to say thank you for all the time you've spent and help you've put into the school. Thank you. Thank you for your help in the crisis of COVID-19. All of the heroes who gave up their time to help fix it. Hello everyone, we just wanted to say thank you to the nurses and first responders all across the country. Thank you very much, we appreciate you greatly. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you for taking care of us, nurses. Thank you for taking care of us, nurses. Thank you for COVID nurses during this time and your struggle. Thank you for taking care of us.
to conclude the 2021 VFMAC military tattoo, sir. Strong work, man. Great job. Carry out the plan of the day, drum major. Thank you, sir. <laughs>